Hey everybody, Chrissy is pissy here, and 24 hours ago, I decided to make a video defending Leafy. There was this whole situation where he ended up making fun of an autistic person, unintentionally, and H3H3 Productions publicized it and called him out on it. At first I was kind of against that, but now I realize H3H3 Productions did 100% the right thing. There's no excusing it. If there's a bully, you have to go out, you need to expose him, and you need to send love to the victim. At the time, I was trying to argue that H3H3 shouldn't be trying to impose moral values on YouTube, but I've disregarded that now in favor for Pyro Cynical's take on the entire situation. And he's like, hey everybody, let's take the middle ground. Leafy did something bad, but his intentions weren't bad, and it's his fans who did the most damage. Additionally, Ethan's gotta recognize that Leafy isn't quote-unquote cancer, he's not the worst thing on YouTube. It's his fans, and he's gotta learn how to control his fans better and stuff like that. Pyrocynical really just takes the cake in delivering a non-biased, impartial approach to the situation. But then he says this. Recently, I've actually had a lot of private messages sent to me of H3H3 giving me a lot of shit saying how my channel is cancer, saying how I'm completely unoriginal, and I'm a total sociopath. Now, even though Ethan said all this shit about me, and I'm pretty sure he'd kill me if he saw me in real life, I'm gonna respect his privacy and not show any of these messages. <laughs> Except that one, because <laughs> it's genuinely funny. So here's Pyro taking his personal opinion out of everything, his bias out of everything, taking a really strong middle ground, looking for the best in both Leafy and Ethan in this whole situation, and Ethan calls him cancer. Ethan goes out of his way to personally attack Pyro, and this is when I realized, watching this, what bothered me about Ethan's video. At first I thought it was the message, it's that we gotta go bash Leafy, but he had a point in that. What bothered me the most inside, I couldn't tell at the time, was his self-righteous rant. And we never made a video about him. You know why? Because we're not fucking assholes. Because it's just mean. He doesn't deserve to be made fun of. You're not fucking assholes. Ethan, this is where I realized you're being a hypocrite and you have to acknowledge it. Your whole channel revolves around attacking people. Laughing at their expense. That's an asshole thing to do. You have been directly messaging Pyro who, from what I've seen in this one video, seems to be a very analytical guy who is able to detach himself from biases and take an approach where he tries to take the best out of everybody. You're attacking him and calling him cancer. Remember Patrice Wilson? You've called him a rapist and a pedophile millions of times. Hey, remember that video we made two or three months ago about that black guy that was eating and raping kids, like a lot of kids? That guy's definitely a pedophile. Are you seriously trying to tell me that you don't think Patrice Wilson is a pedophile? Think hardly about what we're dealing with here, okay? Finger, one finger, red, virgin. Uh, he's fingering a little girl, dude. That's what it is. He's fingering a little... Considering that you do a lot of asshole things, Ethan, considering that your livelihood seems to depend on asshole things, I would think you'd be a bit easier on Leafy, especially since it seems that he's made an honest mistake. Stop acting superior than your colleagues. You're one of the roasters. You're one of these people on YouTube, and you gotta stop acting like you're better than all of them, because you're not. If anything, I've never heard Leafy call anybody a rapist, and I doubt Pyrocynical has done the same. I'm Chrissy's Pissy, and I'm out.